Hi guys, welcome to another vlog. And in this video today, all we're gonna be doing is having a whole lot of fun. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. And here I'm gonna show you who I'm with today. So in today's video, what we're gonna be doing is obviously we're at the racetrack. So we're gonna run, Let's see if we can break that, uh, break into the 12s once again. And we're here with a good friend of mine, the Bullet WS6. This car is uh, a lot faster than mine, but uh, they look good together. They look good together. Let's see what you think. Yeah, I think they look really good together. One day this car will have turbos like that one does. All right, right now, guys, we're about to go check out this car show because the Paul Walker event has a really crazy car show, so we're going to go check it out. Uh, it's still early in the day, so there's not a lot of people here. We just got up. We got here early so that we can set up and everything. And uh, like I said, it's still early, so there's not a lot of cars. We got some EPS cars. Y'all didn't get this quote. Maybe this makes a little more sense. I showed y'all this Volkswagen earlier, but I didn't notice that it had a slam trailer as well. Look at this. This trailer is on airbags. Stop if you're watching this, bro. Should have been here. All right, guys. Right now we're about to go get teched because the races have just started, and I want to get out there early and get my practice runs in before I have to go out there. Guys, right now, what I'm about to do is uh, lower the tire pressure on the car because right now I have it at like 34 PSI and I'm gonna put them down to around 18 and start off at 18 and see how the car hooks. And like I said, it's on street tires. It's not very adequate for uh, drag racing, but we're gonna send it on street tires. And once we run it at 18 PSI, we're gonna see if it spins a little bit. If not, we might go a little bit lower to like 15 PSI and see how it hooks, it should hook at 15. All right guys, right now, me and Juan, the Bullet WS6, are about to go save Mexico Racing League. They need the tire swapped and I'm bringing the impact. What's going on here, Juan? We're trying to fit this Dodge wheel on a Mustang. I'm, sure, I'm not exactly sure how well that's gonna work out. It's, it's gonna break, it's a Dodge part. We're gonna figure it out. Will it fit? Yeah. That's the question. Hell yeah. <laughs> There's children for them. <laughs> 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 Dodge wheel on a Ford. There's a big tire. Mm. The, true, the true moment is when they lower it back down. See how far down it's gone. Yeah. <laughs> 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 a little bit of problem. That's not good. I like negative. It sounds like a 12 second pass to me. No way. 12 seconds. You think so? Let's see it. Perfect. If it pulls the wheels though, it might run. Uh, <laughs> yo. Alright guys, Juan's going for his first pass. First you got the second. The main event is right here.
So we're gonna let Harry drive it on motor. A little bit more, just a little bit more. I'd say motor, it's actually on wastegate, which is probably gonna make three, four pounds without the run. Um, but it should flick off a nine second pass if he's able to stay in it, but we'll have to see how confident he is. Go ahead and turn the key on and turn the bottle heater on so it runs through. All right, guys, I'm probably about to run my first nine second pass, and y'all gonna see it here first on Harry Charbonnier YouTube channel. We got Harry getting ready to climb into the beast, bro. Yeah. You excited? Yeah. You ready? It's a lot more of a beast than mine, but yeah. <laughs> First nine seconds uh, pass ever going to pop the cherry on this one, huh? Very much so. All right, let's see what it's like. So we'll, we'll go over everything again, okay? Yep. So don't be nervous. Everything's good. Okay. Go ahead and pee, pee the, the make sure it's in park. Okay. Yep. It's good. Ignition. Uh, water pump and fan, and then uh, hit the engine start. After it starts, I'll put the engine on. Turn it back on like that. No, no, it, it goes back by itself. Okay. You're gonna have to give it a little gas. How much like motivation do you have now to buy uh, an F body with a transfer? All, 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 <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys. So I just ran a 10 ohm in a car that was on gate, meaning it was barely making any boost. It was literally at 5.2 pounds of boost. I ran a 10 ohm at 138 miles an hour. Uh, very, very exhilarating. I'm not even gonna lie. First time releasing a trans brake button, and let me tell you. I want a car like this now and I'm probably gonna build one like this now because of how fun that was all right guys I'm going up for another pass I've been doing really really bad today the prep is horrible and I'm on street tires and the prep is horrible the car is wheel hopping like crazy like really 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 bad and I'm not liking it it sounded like I broke an axle earlier everyone thought I broke an axle the car is still pulling so I didn't break an axle, but it sounded like one, so I don't know. I thought I broke the diff. Everyone thought I broke the axle. I thought I broke the diff. We're going to see. I'm going to hit it one more time. If it does it again, I'm probably just going to put the car up. But in this video, y'all saw me run my first 10-0 pass. It was a 10 0 3 And it was a very, very exhilarating pass. I got to thank juan the bullet ws6 so much i can't thank you so much because uh you just helped me make the decision on my next financial mistake thanks juan guys i was trying to run that v right there but it seems to me that the uh ctsv is moving ahead of me we were lined up for a little bit but now he's ahead hopefully we can maybe get in line but i think there's two cars in front of me so uh We'll see. Right now, I'm wearing a pink helmet. I'm wearing the pink helmet because uh, they bet me I wouldn't wear it, and I'm wearing it now. 
and I told him I was gonna run a faster pass with the pink helmet on, so here we go. All right, guys, that was the worst one yet, and uh, I don't know, I might run it one more time. I burnt the crap out of my finger. But I just ran the worst pass ever. First, second, third gear spinning. Uh, Will hop like the worst ever. And uh, so right now what we're just gonna do, we're just gonna watch Juan run. And then um, I'm gonna let my car cool down a lot because it's really, 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 really hot right now. And once it cools down, I'm gonna hit it again and see what happens. Hopefully I don't blow a diff or break an axle or chew up a carrier bearing or break a drive shaft. Hopefully nothing breaks and I could put the car on its own power on the freaking, uh, what do you call that? The trailer. <laughs> anyway, catch y'all later. Juan versus Juan. Which LS Juan is gonna win? I'm just kidding. None of these are LS1, that's a Bill 53. That's a Ford 27 LS6. Right now I'm running to the CTSB. I let it cool down for about 45 minutes an hour. And after this, we're gonna make a couple more passes because they're opening the staging lanes one more time for a street car. And I'm gonna try to get a better pass than what I've been getting. My passes are freaking horrible right now, guys. Horrible. My clutch pedal stayed to the ground. I've been having all kinds of bad luck, honestly. My key fob stopped working. I don't know. Why is that open my... My key fob stopped working. My car keeps saying my old... Oil... Old temp is low. Anyway, I'm about to get back in line. All right, guys. Uh, so I just went to my last pass. I don't think that's good enough. It was my best. Who's ready for some burnouts? 13-0 at uh, 112 miles an hour. All right, we're going to work on that car, throughout the night. Oil temperature got right, very, all, very we're hot. Have so I freaked out. Trey it got dry, to 228 degrees. In his Infiniti G35. But the only thing was that last year. the car didn't overheat. <laughs> it was actually my he works. oil temperature Old sensor pizza hut. my old and temperature sensor freaking came loose and was actually reading Ready? i guess my header exhaust One, temp two, i don't know three, but go. it's not even connected so the car was perfectly fine <laughs> hey guys it's the next day we just got home from the paul walker memorial event and i just wanted to give you all a special thanks for watching this long and also like I always say, have a freaking awesome day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, leave a thumbs up. Also, press that post notification bell. And once again, have a freaking awesome day. Alright guys, so... Our first P.O. Box package was a Chihuahua-sized, I don't even know what this is, little elf costume onesie for a puppy, and we managed to put it on Letty's head, and she's starting to freak out. She does not move. If you know Letty, Letty is like super, super like hyper. And we put it on and now look at her. What's wrong, Letty? Yo los entiendo y sé por qué así están. Es que su prima es tan high que no tiene ningún rival. Alright, yeah, yeah. So on Thursday or Friday last week, I had a little company, or I had a company named Tack Life Tools contact me and say that they wanted to send me a T6 jump box that they have. And I was like, sure, send it. I'll make a video on it. And I received the package today from Amazon Prime. And I'm pretty sure this is it. And today is Sunday. So that means they shipped it ASAP. So we're going to open it real fast and see if it is. If it's not, then I don't know what it is. But uh, we're about to check it out. Dumb. Da -da -dum. 
it is Tech Life Tools sent me their model T6 jump starter and we're gonna check it out pretty nice actually a pretty nice little kit all right so this is what you see when you open it you have your little positive and negative little alligator clips and I think that's a charger not sure yet and on this side of the flap is the actual device itself it's a little jump starter this is actually kind of cool Ooh, look at that Ooh, look at that tack life it has a uh, LED flashlight right here on this side pretty bright yeah look at that lights up all blue that means it's fully charged Oh, oh, flashlight. Okay. It has two USB ports. This is the engine battery uh, plug-in. This is where you would plug in your little alligator clips to jumpstart your vehicle. I was reading on the description of this, and it says on one full charge, you can jumpstart a car or truck up to 30 times. So, if it's not fully charged, you can still jumpstart it at least 10 times. At least so that's pretty impressive and I mean it feels great feel this thing oh, yeah. and then this side has a little pouch I already showed y'all but it has a little pouch and it has these little jumps little power cable So when you pull, open the other side, the little pack, you have your little alligator clips. This is for your positive and negative on your battery terminals. This plugs in right to uh, this big plug-in right here. And you plug it in there, and once you plug it in, plug it to your, your, your battery on your vehicle, and you jump start it, and it should start your vehicle up. I mean, it will. I trust them. This is the charger for the battery charger itself. This is another charger for the battery charger. This is a 110 outlet charger. This is a 12 volt cigarette lighter outlet charger. So, you'll never be stranded on the side of the road if you have tack like tools on your side. They didn't tell me to say that. It just came out like that. And then they have this cool cigarette lighter adapter that plugs into this that is dope what you see that what that's cool okay i'm not even gonna lie that's pretty dope that means you get this you plug it into there and then this becomes you could put a like a 110 outlet on there through here you know what i'm talking about <laughs> yeah that's cool oh Thank you, Tech Life Tools, for sending this in. I'm gonna be using it in a in the next video on something. I'm gonna the find something. What? In the next video, I'm gonna find something that has a dead battery, and I'm gonna jump it. So. <laughs> Go around town. You have a dead battery? No. Okay. Que me odia porque soy original. Tanto falso que hay en esta humanidad. Yo los entiendo y sé por qué así están. Es que su prima es tan high que no tiene ningún rival.